Why do people have round bales or square bales or big square bales or little square bales? What's the point of having so many different kinds of hay bales? Well, today we're gonna to answer that question while we haul some hay to a customer. I have always loved getting people out on a gravel road and letting them see the farm life firsthand. Whether it's in the field at our full-time farming jobs or here at home on our own little cattle ranch. So now I'll bring the camera along and you sit back and ask the questions. Let's explore this Midwestern farming and ranching lifestyle together. This is your channel. This is Dodge Brothers Farm and Ranch. We're headed to an Amish farm today, which is why I have the skid loader on the trailer with the hay. He has no method of unloading these big bales at his place. So when we go there, we got to bring the skid loader along. If we're going to haul more than just a handful of bales, we usually run two trailers and two skid loaders so that we can leave a skid loader up at his place um, and make multiple trips. But there was nobody else available to help me run bales up there today anyway, so I had to do it by myself. Well, I got the bales unloaded and stacked right over there where he likes to store them. And I think he should be good for the rest of the winter. It's going to be close, but we'll see. Well, I've got a load of my dad's hay on the trailer right now to go to the neighbors. I didn't know I was going to be hauling this today. It just kind of came up out of nowhere. I don't have it strapped down. We're just going a few miles up the gravel. So if you don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. All right, on to the topic at hand. Why are there so many different types of hay bales? Big squares, little squares, round bales. What's the point and which one's the best? Well, the answer to that question depends largely on what you're trying to do and how you're set up. Small square bales work great for people that just have a couple horses or a pony or just a couple cattle and they don't want to invest in large machinery to feed their hay. You can grab a small square bale by hand and toss it out into a feeder. You can cut the strings off and pull off just a few pounds of hay to throw into a feeder. But one of the most important things about feeding hay is minimizing waste. And you can hardly do better than small square bales if you're feeding once or twice a day they're not going to waste a lot of hay if you only give them as much as they're going to eat each day. But one of the major drawbacks of small square bales is cost. If you buy your hay, there's no more expensive way to buy hay than small square bales. Also, there's no way that you can store these things outside. You've got to have them under roof. Otherwise, they're going to soak up moisture and mold really badly and rot very quickly. The reason they're so expensive is because it takes a lot of time and manual labor oftentimes to bale square bales, stack them, transport them, unstack them, and put them into your shed. There's a lot of time and labor involved and that turns into money. Now onto your big square bales. They're pretty much just a giant small square bale. The most common size in our area is three by three, which means they're roughly three feet wide and three feet tall and you bale them approximately seven to nine foot in length. These bales are gonna weigh about 750 to 850 pounds as opposed to your small squares which usually are around 40 to 50 pounds. So you can move a large square bale with a small skid loader very easily. If you've got a medium to large size skid loader you can easily move two of them around at once and they're very handy for feeding. You can throw a big square bale into a hay feeder with a skid loader or you can set it somewhere and cut the strings and just pull off a little bit of at a time. The other thing they're great for is transportation. Transportation is like a game of Tetris. You want everything to fit nice and tight. And big square bales are packed extremely tightly. They're very dense and they're nice and square so they fit great on a flatbed trailer. They load and transport really nice. But you have also got to keep your big square bales under roof. You don't want to store them outside because they don't shed water like a round bale does. They're also fairly expensive when compared to round bales in baling cost and in purchase cost. A large square baler is a very expensive piece of equipment, oftentimes almost twice as much as a large round baler. So that's where your additional cost comes from. Now, round bales. The greatest thing round bales have going for them is the fact that you can store them outside. Now, it's not ideal and you're going to lose a certain amount of hay to spoilage when you store your round bales outside. But if you've got a nice tightly packed six foot round bale, meaning six foot in diameter, and you've got it wrapped with plastic net wrap, these bales will shed water pretty good. And that's the main reason that we use round bales on our farm. 
We don't have a lot of inside storage for our hay, so we're fairly well forced to use round bales. They're also really efficient when it comes to feeding large numbers of livestock. With our eight cows, which by the way is not a large number of livestock, one round bale lasts them about six days in the bale feeder. That means I only have to start the skid loader up every six days to feed a bale of hay. That saves time and money. Now the drawbacks of round bales, it's kind of a pain to transport them. They don't stack onto a trailer quite as nicely as big square bales do. And like I just mentioned, you've got to have a big piece of machinery to move them around. So it all comes down to what your needs are. If you've got just a couple ponies or a horse or just a couple calves to feed and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a tractor or a skid loader, then small square bales are just the ticket for you. If you have a lot of indoor storage and a skid loader, I'd advise big square bales. They're a great way to go. And if you don't have anywhere to store your hay indoors, you're pretty much going to be using large round bales, net wrapped. Now, there's all sorts of other things you can do. You can wrap them in plastic in line. You can individually wrap them in plastic to store them outdoors. You can bale hay wet and wrap it in plastic to make silage in a bale. But we won't get into all that today. I hope I answered your question about round bales and square bales and large square bales and what the point of them are. If you have any more questions, I'd appreciate you dropping them in the comments and we'll talk about it in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.